Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 6.1 for the iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, and the fourth generation iPod Touch. And of course, Apple just released 6.1 to the public, and the Evaders, the new team on the jailbreak scene, are preparing to release an untethered jailbreak for all iOS-based devices on 6.1. But for now, this is a tethered jailbreak for the iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, and the fourth generation iPod Touch using a Red Snow workaround. So if you want a jailbreak, you will be able to do so. Now, like I said, of course, this is a tethered jailbreak, which means if you want full functionality, you'll have to plug your device into your computer and rerun a certain part of Red Snow every time you want to reboot your device. However, I will show you guys something at the end that essentially converts your tethered jailbreak into a semi-tethered or a semi-untethered jailbreak, which will act as your lifeline. But we'll get to that when the time comes. For now, you will need to download two things. You'll have to download the latest version of Red Snow and the iOS 6.0 corresponding IPSW for your device. Yes, I did say 6.0. I cannot stress this enough. Because Red Snow hasn't been upgraded to include official support for 6.1, we will have to employ a workaround and essentially trick it into thinking you're on 6.0 when in reality you're actually on 6.1. And I will have a link to a post on my website down below in the more info and that post contains Red Snow download links for OS X and Windows based computers alike and also the iOS 6 IPSWs. All right, now that I've got that out of the way, I just wanted to show you guys that I am indeed on 6.1. As you can see down below here for the version, it does say 6.1, and this is indeed an iPhone 4. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this jailbreak tutorial. What we're going to do first is open up Red Snow, and if you're on OS X, simply hold down Control and click on Red Snow, or right click Red Snow and click Open. And once you open up Red Snow, you should get a screen that looks like this, and now you can go ahead and go inside of Extras, and then what we're going to do is select that iOS 6 IPSW I told you guys to download. So go to Select IPSW down below here, it's somewhat in the middle, and once you click that, you'll get a selection window. Again, we're pointing it at our iOS 6.0 IPSW and once you have it selected you can click open and then once you do that it will successfully identify your build and then after you get this pop-up you can click OK to that and then go back and then from here we're at the main menu again we're going to go to jailbreak because now we've essentially tricked Red Snow into thinking we're on 6.0 when in reality we're on 6.0.1 so go ahead and click on jailbreak at this point And now from here, what we're going to do is simply select Install Cydia and check the other options you want. However, do not check Install Custom Bundle. All right, now that we're ready to go, I'm simply going to click Next. And then here it says to make sure that your device is both plugged in and powered off. However, we're going to enter DFU mode ahead of time. It's very simple to do. Just plug in your device and then hold down the Home and Power button together for a total of 10 seconds. Now once that 10 seconds is up, let go of the power button and continue holding the home button for roughly 10 to 15 seconds. Once you've successfully entered DFU mode, it will automatically bypass this screen and begin exploiting your device with LimeRain. All right, now it's just downloading the jailbreak data, and now it says that this is a tethered jailbreak and it's done, and it essentially explains what a tethered jailbreak means. Again, I'll go more into depth on that, more toward the end of this video. Now, just be sure to let it do its thing. I'm just going to leave it on screen here, and I'm just going to show you guys exactly how long it'll take. I'm not going to cut anything out of this video. Again, I'm just going to let the jailbreak process play through on the iPhone 4 here.
All right, now this is actually the longest process where it says moving applications. Just let it do its thing and it will complete and it will push through this. And now that it's at installing bundles, it should pass through this quickly and then it'll just reboot as normal. All right, now just wait for your device to reboot. Okay, and now that we're back up here, we're just going to set our device down for a second, and we need to come back to our computer here to Red Snow. And if your Red Snow window is still open, just make sure you close out of it, and we're going to open it again. Now this will just ensure that we don't encounter any errors and it will essentially just refresh everything. So once it's opened, what you need to do again is go down to extras and then go to select IPSW and we're going to browse for our iOS 6.0 IPSW again. Now, like I said in the beginning, this is a tethered jailbreak. So what we actually have to do is reboot it tethered right now. And then from there, we will be able to install the semi-tethered or semi-untethered jailbreak on top of that through Cydia. So once you get this message saying that it's successfully identified, you can click OK. And then we're going to do the top option now, which is just boot. And then from here, again, it's giving you that same message, essentially telling you to both plug in and power off your device, and then it will tell you how to enter DFU mode. However, I'm going to show you guys ahead of time, and I found that this typically works best. So just make sure that your device is plugged into your computer, and then hold down the home and power button together for a total of 10 seconds. Once that 10 seconds is up, you can go ahead and let go of the power button and continue holding the home button for roughly 10 to 15 seconds. Now, once you're successfully in DFU mode, it will automatically bypass this screen and it will just continue through patching your device. As you can see, it's exploiting it with Lime Rain right now and it's just going through the process. All right, and once you see this pineapple logo here, that means you're good to go, and it should take just slightly longer than it normally takes to reboot.
All right, now that we're back up, we can go ahead and unlock our device, and I'm going to show you guys that we do have Cydia now. All right, so scrolling over, it should take just a second, and Cydia will appear. As you can see, we now have Cydia, and I'm going to open it up, and we're going to go ahead and go through the process to install the semi-tethered or the semi-untethered jailbreak. So right here, I'm just going to select user and then done. And then I'm just going to cancel the refresh and we're going to have to add a source. So go down to the bottom where it says manage and then we're going to go to sources, edit, add and you're going to add this repo. It's just the big boss dot org forward slash semi S E M I tether. T-E-T-H-E-R. And once you have that typed, you can go ahead and tap on add source. And now it will just go through and update the sources. Of course, that repo will also be in the post that I have listed down below in the more info, as it also contains complete and in-depth written instructions. All right, and again, we're just waiting on this. It can take some time to complete. All right, now that it's added, we can go ahead and tap on return to Cydia. And what we need to do now is just install the package. So go inside of the repo that you just added, which should be toward the bottom, and we're going to install semi tether. Now, once you tap on semi tether, just tap on install in the top right hand corner, followed by confirm. And now once it's done, all you have to do is just restart your springboard. And once this completes, I'm going to unplug the iPhone 4 and reboot it and show you guys that it can boot back up without the assistance of a computer. However, certain applications will not be functional and I'll show you what I mean. So let me go ahead and unplug it right now and I'm going to power it off and then turn it back on and show you that it will still reboot successfully with that semi-tether package installed. So now let me go ahead and turn it back on. And this essentially is your lifeline. If you absolutely have to reboot your device with limited functionality, you can do it without a computer, which is actually very useful if it dies and you have to reboot it. So as you can see, we're back up now, and I'm going to go ahead and slide to unlock. And as you can see, my iPhone is up here. However, like I said, certain things won't be functional, like for instance, Cydia and Safari will just instantly quit out. Again, that is because now what we would have to do to boot it back up to get full functionality back is plug it into the computer and repeat the just boot process inside of Red Snow. All right, now I hope you guys liked this video. Don't forget to rate it up if you did and leave any comments down below in the comment section. Also, don't forget to stay tuned because I will provide you guys with a new tutorial once an untethered jailbreak is out for iOS 6.1. Just be sure to stay tuned for that and to be updated more quickly, just be sure to follow me on Twitter and like me on Facebook. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.